what did, what did Malone say upon giving you that chain? And we heard you, you may have given an Oscar speech. Yeah, I gave a deep speech. Um, you know, I've been battling for that chain all year and I finally, finally got it in my possession. Um, you know, been fighting hard, been fighting hard, but um, finally got it. So I was, I was happy about that. But it was, it was a good team win at the end of the day. Um, you know, it was, it was good to be back on the floor after missing the last game, but, you know, I'm glad we got the W. Can you describe the journey of redemption after, you know, coach was going to give it to you and then gave it to David? Yeah, he walked, he walked away. I mean, he, he, he's done that a couple of times this year. He looked like he's going to give it to me and walked away. This time he walked away and then he circled back and I just knew it was mine. <laughs> Uh, you know, but um, I mean, it's it's not just me, uh, obviously. Um, I mean, it's it's good jokes, but uh, you know, we I think together collectively we did a great job on the defensive end. Um, Kate Kate played great tonight. Um, he he will their team. Um, you know, throughout the whole game, uh, Sadiq played good. But together for us, um, we we were great on the defensive end. So, on a serious note, though. Is this is is this game a good example of how you can win when you give up twenty five turnovers for thirty eight points? Yeah, I mean that's something we don't want to do, but um, to show resiliency and the fact that we continue to battle on the defensive end, um, I mean it showed us a lot of things that we'll be capable of, uh, regardless of how we play on the offensive end. Um, it, we went for a stretch where neither team was scoring, but. You know, for us is all right. If we're not going to score, the defense has to give us something. And you know, I think it was the second unit. They did a great job of, um, you know, getting stops. And you know, that's that's what we win games, and that's how we continue to have that lead throughout the game. Demarcus said after last game, you guys have to have a defensive identity. Obviously, Malone beat that drum to death. Mm -hmm. uh, do, do you guys, as a team, all buy into that and believe that? Do you think that's been impressed upon the locker room? Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, we know what we're capable of on the defensive end, and we know what we need to do in order to take it to the next level. Um, I mean, we watch film all the time, and we see it. Uh, you know, and every game is different. Um, personnel is different. But regardless of who's on the floor, you know, our focus has to be defense. And I think we've gotten better throughout the last couple of games um, on the defensive end. There are a couple of plays early on, especially when you and AG and Jokic were cutting and moving so well off of each other. Mm -hmm. What's it like when the three of you are, are on the floor? And what does that open up offensively? Uh, it's just great basketball, playing off each other, finding an open space, but it opens up everything. Um, with us cutting, we know all the, the focus is going to be on Big Fella. Um, so for us, um, it's about just finding an open spot, but it opens up a lot of threes, you know, for everybody, um, you know, Tay, Will, Austin. Uh, Faku, uh, Bones, anybody on the floor. So for us, it's about just finding an open spot, um, making good cuts to, you know, that works well for our team. You've, you've played with some great players. Mm -hmm. uh, you talk about how it's so much easier being on the floor with the big fella, as you call mm -hmm. him. The stat line tonight was insane. <laughs> like just, always. Yeah, just continue to put up major, major numbers and being um, the Western Conference Player of the Week. I, what is it like for you as of late to get to play alongside Nicole Amazing. It gets better, you know, each game. Um, you know, like like I've said before, with this IQ, his passing ability, um, offensively, skill set, um, you know, he is, you know, one of the best I've played with. Um, you know, he finds guys, he gets he gets them open, um, he finds them when they're open. And, you know, his patience with the ball um, is tremendous. His, his pace out there on the floor is tremendous. And uh, it's fun, you know, playing alongside with him. Jeff, how hard was it for you to leave Brooklyn <clears throat> and obviously go back there tomorrow? Uh, it was real hard. Um, you know, with the relationships I built when I was there and the relationships I had previous with, you know, some of the guys on the team, you know, from the start, you know, with KD, you know, that's like really like that's like my brother. Um, with James, you know, the multiple times that I played with him from the OKC days to Houston, um, you know, the relationships I developed with Coach Nash, um, you know, the assistant coaches, uh, Bruce, uh, the time that I had with Blake, you know, me and Blake were friends before that, but, um, you know, LaMarcus, uh, the short stint that I had with him, you know, I developed some good relationship with a lot of guys over there and uh, it was tough, you know, especially the way our season ended, you know, with the injuries, um, you know, the way Kai went down and the relationship I had with Kai, you know, he's a terrific human being. Um, and it was it was tough to leave, you know, but, you know, business, NBA is a business and, you know, 
it's some things you can't control. Um, so it'd be good to see those guys, you know, some of those guys tomorrow. Um, so, you know, but at the end of the day, we're there to win a game. Um, you know, where I have my moments before a game, I talk to a lot of the guys, but once the, you know, ball is tossed, you know, it's game time. A couple quick ones on the Zoom. Go ahead, Jim Conlon. <clears throat> Hi, Jeff. Uh, Jeff, what's it like having uh, DeMarcus Cousins boogie uh, as part of the <laughs> roster there recently and uh, all his experience in the NBA? How is that going to help you going forward? Uh, it's great having him out there on the floor. Um, I mean, I've known Boog for a long time and, you know, his growth, um, you know, as a player, a person is, for us, is amazing. Uh, his skill set, um, he can handle the ball, he can shoot, he can pass. Uh, he can do a lot of good things for us. And, you know, to have him on his team, it gives us, you know, on the perimeter and on the, you know, in the post, you know, and never, you know, add a weapon to what we have. And, you know, throughout the year, guys are, you know, going to continue to get healthy. So it just, you know, makes our team more lethal. So I'm glad he's he's a part of this organization right now. We'll end with Esteban. Go ahead. Hi, Jeff. Congrats for the win and your big performance from Cordoba, Argentina. About the game of tomorrow night, <laughs> what, uh, um, what can you tell me about Brooklyn? How dangerous can be without Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, they, I mean, they have, they have a lot of guys on that team that can score. Um, you know, Kessler has been playing great for them. Um, knocked down shooter. Uh, Bruce has been playing well. You know, outside of James, um, you know, Blake is, you know, still playing at a high level. And Marcus, um, you know, he's automatic from the mid mid range. So, you know, they have a lot of weapons. Uh, they're still a good team regardless of the injuries. And they're going to come out, you know, and try to protect home court. So it's going to be another tough game that we got to come prepared, come focused, and ready to play. Thank you, Jeff. No problem, man. Yeah.